that well, you can win it all. Of course. And yeah. speaking of winning it all, this morning I want to welcome the youngest presiding officer at the Tobago House of Assembly and the youngest female presiding officer at the Tobago House of Assembly who is young and ready to create some change. Good morning to you, Abby Taylor. Hi, good morning, guys. How are you? So far, so good. How are you doing this morning? She nice. I'm not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, well, first of all, Abby, let me ask you, what is the mandate of a presiding officer? What is the role of a presiding officer? Well, it's exactly that. The mandate is in its name. I am here to preside over the proceedings of our great assembly legislature. When we meet in the House, I chair the meetings, I do all the rulings. I am equivalent to the Speaker of the House. That you're like the Tobago Speaker of the House. Yes. So no, yes, I mean you're that, young. Yes, speaker of the House in Trinidad is a presiding officer as well. So yeah. right. Yes. So Abby, you're young. It's one of the things that we say. And you know what? Congratulations. It's always beautiful to see young people. Thank you. You know, taking up roles of position. But how difficult is it is it to learn? You know, the the, the standing orders or the different uh, aspects of the legislative agenda that you know could determine how you rule on something? Well, to be honest, this is a learning curve for me. Yeah. Um, the standing orders are new. Um, basically, everything is new to me. But I'll tell you this, I am poised and ready to do the job. I am a quick learner. I've always prided myself on, if not giving myself one chance to, to fail at something or to, to be a little doubtful on something, but I'm a really quick learner. I pick up things really quickly. So yeah. for the past month, I have been, my head has been in the books. I've been reading over the constitution. I've been reading over the, um, the standing orders for which we are guided by here at the um, assembly legislature. I've been going over various documents to ensure that when in that chair, I am able to give the most um, impartial judgment as possible. Yeah. Abby, what do you see as one of your biggest challenges going into this position? Um, I wouldn't say I don't, I don't see challenges, eh, to be real honest. Um, I see opportunities. And uh, one of my greatest opportunities um, is to be able to flesh out the assembly legislature. I want to be able to have an immersive type environment here at Jerningham Street. I want persons to be able to, um, I know we have the COVID restrictions up and and it's it's it has impeded on a lot of us but i want to be able to invite the tobago public into our space be it physically once permitted or virtually so the mandate has to be an all-inclusive one it has to be very immersive um, because we are culturally rich here at and historically rich here at the assembly legislature. I, I, I am very doubtful that um, most people know that this building is the oldest legislative building in Trinidad and Tobago. We are almost 200 years old. So it's things like that we want to invite the public to understand and to learn and to have a better appreciation for our legislative history here on the island. And Abby, you know, when we watch the House of uh, the, the Parliament here, one of the things we hear all the time is that the Speaker is biased. And it doesn't really matter who is in government. How do you right. now, as a young uh, presiding officer, ensure that each, each side of the House, you know, that it, its voice is heard, their voices are heard? Because, you know, it's one of the things that people seem to grapple with, you know, when you're right. in the House and things are to be discussed. Well... As I said previously, I am guided by the standing orders. And I don't think that we should operate outside of the standing orders. Prior to being here, I, I was a procurement manager. And in that capacity alone, I learned to operate as biasly and um, unbiasedly and objectively as possible. And in taking up this role, I, I take my duties and responsibilities very seriously. So there's not going to be an opportunity 
for persons on either side to think that I am leaning in one direction or the other because I am guided by a document. Um, I have prided myself from, as I said, from past um, positions that I would have held on being transparent and accountable and, of course, fair. So this is almost part of me. So they are not going to have a very easy time with me <laughs> as presiding <laughs> officer. <laughs> nice. Um, Abby, you know, you, you spoke a little bit about, you know, your road to get here. And I'm, I'm curious, as, and, and I'm sure a lot of people are as well, especially young women who may be looking up to you and say, you know, uh, they aspire to be in your position one day or to be able to take that journey. And they want to know what some of the first steps were. Uh, so can you just guide us into, into how you got into this position? Well, before I was um, selected as presiding officer, I was a candidate in the both elections, the January 2021 and the December 21 THA elections. I was unsuccessful both times. Um, but I think my perseverance and my well-to-do and my um, my earnest ability to learn and to be part of the space and 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 to to offer something, add value to um, to Tobago. I think that would have manifested itself a little bit more than my political ambitions. And so I was chosen as the presiding officer for the term 2021 to 2025. Um, what I can say to young women that it's definitely not, um, it's not a bad decision to try to enter politics. I would have just completed a courtesy call to the parliament in Trinidad. And I was astonished. I was literally in awe as to how many women we have in politics, even at the in the background and in the fore. And I would definitely encourage persons from a very young age to try to get into politics and to learn about our governance type system. Um, because, I mean, we, we live and operate in a man's world. So it's always nice to to leave a mark, a, a feminine mark on, on this male stain that we have here in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, your predecessor, Denise Sawyer, Fat Angus, female as well, would you sit with her, you know, just to get some tidbits about of what course. you can and of how you can, you can manage the role? Of course, I have already spoken to Dr. Angus. Dr. Angus is a very dear friend of mine, as a matter of fact. Um, she was the chairman of the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited Board, where I previously worked as a procurement manager. So I'm very familiar with her. We have a very good working relationship. So we have already started conversations. And um, I would have spoken to some to members of staff here, and I would um be speaking to the clerk of the house to have a meeting of some sorts uh, um, to speak to all past presiding officers, those who we can get on to as much as possible. Because I don't ever want, my mark is not, um, is ever going to be uh, one that is um, so subjective that we don't ever include the ideas of past persons. We we are Tobagonians, we all are Tobagonians and we live and occupy this space and everybody has something that they can contribute. So of course, we would be having something very soon, um, um, a meeting with all past presiding officers. So we could just have a discussion as to the way forward. Nice. Uh, um, congratulations on that because I think it's definitely important to pave the way for the future in that way, especially. Uh, Abby, before we go, what, what do you... What do you hope your legacy will be uh, in this position? Well, I am a mother first. I am and also I am also a, an advocate for for women. Surprisingly, I, I everywhere I go, I try to see how I could encourage or engender women to do and to strive to be better. So one of the programs. Uh, um, just coming off of my visit again to Parliament yesterday, um, one of the programs that we're definitely going to institute is a uh, Women's Day in the Legislature, where we are going to have a full sitting of just women, either from the communities or from the school or wherever, any walk of life. 
I'm going to reach out to persons to be part of a sitting and they, they can bring their own motion. And I want to have women more actively involved in politics. And um, I also want to have women and um, children more actively in politics. So we will have something very soon coming on stream called um, primary parliament. Um, don't hold me to that to that title. It's subject to change, though. But um, we will be engaging young girls in the, at the primary school level to be mm -hmm. part of our political system here at the Ale Assembly Legislature. Abby, we do have to wrap, but what I'm curious about, I know that we have the Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago, but just what are, what are some of those laws that the THA can pass in and of itself without, uh, you know, infringing on what is the constitution or you know without having that kind of overlap oh all of it is laid out in the fifth schedule of the act act 40 of the th um, of the th um 1996 act 40. um so i don't know if you have ever seen it but we have the full schedule where we have 33 areas which we have responsibilities for so there's no overlapping it in any way possible we have areas that we could we could definitely make laws on here in the island okay all, all right. right well abby thank you so much for joining us and again congratulations on your position and we look forward to seeing great things from you thank you so much do enjoy the rest have of your day thank day. you for joining us yep. that's abby taylor presiding officer at the tha youngest female presiding officer mm -hmm. youngest presiding officer and yeah. we look forward to, to seeing the changes that she makes i know i know she already has you know, great dreams and aspirations and, and putting them into place. It's a powerful already. position, you know. Very so powerful position. Wait to see what she does with it. We take a quick break and come back with more. It's Tobago Thursdays on the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned.